Hello colors, welcome to Viva Barca and welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to be discussing on the latest developing stories. We start with Pablo Gavi as it has been reported that the Barcelona gem could leave for free if he is not registered to the first team. We are going to be discussing on that as we move ahead. Then secondly, talking about this report claiming that Barcelona are not closing the doors on the potential summer sale of this attacking duo Ferran Torres and Rafinha. We are also going to be looking at that. So guys, before we get right into the full story, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch right up to the very end. Very few players on the field openly display their passion and commitment to their club's batch like Gavi does. Born a Cole and brought up in the famed La Masia, the young midfielder is committed to the batch like no other. Despite a feeling of assurance that the teenage prodigy wishes to succeed as Spotify can know, Barcelona were heavily concerned over his renewal and rightfully so. After all, the right offer with the right economic pool can change the mind of any player. According to reports from The Athletic, the Catalans are still trading a tightrope in that respect. Indeed, Gavi was registered as a first team player and even handed the number 6 kit in January. However, the subject of his registration with the first team is still in court and would become problematic if the ruling is in favor of La Liga. Gavi is indispensable for Barcelona and Javi. However, his contract has a provision by which he can leave the club on a free transfer if not registered in the senior side. The board will do everything in their power to avoid such a situation, but not much can be said about judicial results. The Golden Boy and um, Ardo Rovira Memorial Award winner has become an integral part of Javi Hernandez's setup this season. Starting 15, and playing in all 20 of Barcelona's La Liga games this season. In that duration, he has scored one goal and provided two assists and averages 1.2 key passes per game. His biggest performance of the season came against Real Madrid in the final of the Supercopa de España, where he finished the night with a goal and two assists to his name, single-handedly winning his side the cup. Of course, Gavi has been an important player for us and um, definitely is that kind of a player that we all want him to stay for a very very long time. His matter is now in court, even though it was finalized that the player have been registered in the first team, but it has not been done. It has not been completed. Let me say Barca did it, but La Liga have still gone to court with the matter, which means that there's still that possibility that you know La Liga wins the case. Let's just take that scenario that La Liga wins the case then, which means Gavi is not registered and reporters saying that he has a clause that he is free to leave Barca for free for free if he is not registered that's a clause he has so we hope that such a scenario doesn't happen I, I definitely think it would happen you know even if he's free um, let's see how it goes but I think um, things will be good things will be ha good I don't understand why they took it to court because Barca looked like they were the one who, in fact they won the case already to register the player but La Liga does not want the matter to end just like that. So it's still a very, very difficult situation right now for Barca. Very, very complicated. So the, let's see how it goes. Gavi has been in good form this season. One of the best players we have got. And definitely he has been growing full of confidence, full of charisma. And of course, he, he, know, he, he does things well. He's a valuable player in the team as it stands. So... Let's hope that the case that is in court now will rule in our favor because if it does not, then definitely it's going to be very, very complicated. But as we all know, Gavi plays with the batch. He likes the club and Barca will by, no, by every means look for another way to register him even if the case goes in favor of La Liga. So even when we got the report some weeks ago about Gavi finally registered in the first team, it hasn't been done yet. As La Liga have not let the matter end just like that, still taking the matter to court and um, trying to insist that Barca had no right given their financial fair play issues to register Gavi at the time. 
so so things are still complicated let's hope that you know the ruling will end in our favor then on to the next story of discussion a recent report from the Athletics, Paul Balos has provided a detailed update on the state of play of each Barcelona player ahead of the summer transfer window. With a club in a difficult economic situation, player sales could be key for the Blaugrana to address their financial fair play problems and to be able to sign and register players in the summer. It has led to question marks over the futures of several stars such as Yodi Alba and Ansu Fati. Why the aforementioned report suggests that Barca will remain open to offers for Frankie de Jong as well. Providing an update on the situations of attacking duo Ferran Torres and Rafinha, Paul Ballos states that Barcelona are not closing the doors on potentially selling the forwards should suitable offers come along for them. Torres arrived at Barca in the January transfer window of 2022 with the club shelling out a sum of 55 million euros while he started well, the Spaniards' performances have been nowhere near at the level needed to justify the significant outlay on him. The former Manchester City ace has found game time hard to come by, especially after the World Cup break. But reports suggest that Xavi continues to have faith in Torres and the player himself is keen on proving himself. Torres is contracted with Barca until 2027, allowing the club to spread the expenditure made on him across those many years to amortize it. For the Blaugrana to achieve a meaningful fair play margin from his sale, they will need a huge offer for the Spaniards. Meanwhile, Rafinha arrived at the club last summer in a deal worth 58 million euro plus add-ons and signed a long-term deal similar to that of Torres. While he has been showing signs of improvement of late, Barca's financial situation could compel them to consider a sale. But again, they will need a big offer like with Ferran Torres. It does not mean that Barcelona will sell Torres or Rafinha, but the club are not closing the door on it either, and much will depend on the kind of offers they might receive as well as their success in generating fair play from other avenues. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please make sure to subscribe so you always stay in touch with the latest on FC Barcelona here on Viva Barca. Until next time, bye-bye.